This is NASCAR Newscast Weekend Preview Edition. The race to the chase reaches its conclusion Saturday night with the Chevy Rock and Roll 400 at Richmond International Raceway. It's the final race for drivers to qualify for this year's chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup and grab a spot among the top 12 in the series point standings. Four-time series champion Jeff Gordon knows racing at Richmond is always exciting and that the added pressure of deciding the chase field will make Saturday night's race even more action-packed. It's a great track, you know, multiple grooves, um, you know, the short track, I think, for the, the drivers, uh, the crews and the fans, you know, it seems to be one of, the, one of the best tracks, so we always like going there, racing under the lights. You know, it seems to be, you know, a very competitive race and, and a few surprises, a lot of action, and then you throw in there the guys that are trying to make it in the chase. It's, uh, there's going to be a lot of, a lot of exciting things to watch. Matt Kenseth holds the 12th and final chase transfer spot heading into Richmond, but he's only 20 points ahead of 13th place Brian Vickers and 37 in front of Kyle Busch, who needs a big night Saturday in order to have a chance to run for a championship in 2009. You've got to, you've got to be smart. You know that's the biggest thing. You know you can't put yourself in a predicament that that gets you wrecked. You can't be racing around guys that uh, that don't race very well sometimes and get yourself caught up in something you don't need to be in. And, um, you know, unfortunately, that's what I've done this year. I haven't been very smart this year, so uh, it's not these next two weeks that are gonna that are gonna keep us out. It's what we've already done. Virginia native Denny Hamlin leads the drivers to watch coming into Saturday night's race, based on NASCAR's Loop Data Driver Rating System. Hamlin has a 116.9 rating over the last nine races held at Richmond, with Kevin Harvick next at 114.6, and Bush rounding out the top three with a rating of 112.1. This is NASCAR Newscast.